Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Johnson, and this is my beauty channel where I share all of my beauty tips with you. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit it now and join in on the conversation. And ladies, you know what time it is. It's time to get this beauty started. All right, so today I'm sharing with you the hair care products that I'm using now. And I've done many videos on gray hair products and products that I was experimenting with and seeing how my hair handled it. Um, I haven't been so happy if you've been following me on my Beauty Reinvented, which is my private Facebook group. We all talk about like what products we're using for our hair, what's working, what's not. and. I just got really tired of spending so much money on quote unquote gray hair products that I didn't think did anything different to my hair. Actually, it weighted down my hair in some cases or just didn't feel clean. I hate that feeling when I wash my hair and I'm like, I feel like I need to wash it again or I need to rinse it again. So I have been using this Kirstas product for over a month now. I picked it up, I bought it myself again. I'm not showing products that are given to me, sent to me for free, whatever. I buy these products. Yes, they're a little bit more pricey, but my hair is totally worth it to help maintain the frizz, the shine, the manageability, the health of my hair, and just an overall appearance of looking beautiful. Now, I want you ladies to remember, because I got a lot of negative feedback on one of my videos about how to get frizz-free gray hair and everybody said my hair looked super frizzy and it was a hot mess and it was super dry looking and uh, yawn, like it just went on and on. So maybe it was true. That's fine. I can totally take it. It's just that you have to remember I'm in South Florida with 110% humidity. So I'm not like if you saw my Instagram photo that when I was in Las Vegas that had zero humidity, I went to dry bar, she flat ironed my hair. It was pinned straight for like four days and it looked amazing. So my hair is amazing when it's not in humidity, but coupled with gray hair, humidity, and even when I had my brown dyed hair, my hair was definitely still frizzy. There is some level of frizz when you live in a tropical environment like I do. So with that said, I do use sometimes this little mini flat iron. So I have the baby hairs that are like right in here. Doesn't matter what product you use, ladies, at least in my opinion, this hair is never going to be smooth by using one product unless I slick it down and it just looks like I slicked it down. So I'll take a baby one like this because I feel like it's easier to manage to do a flat iron than a huge flat iron and trying to get into a little area. So I'll take this piece. We all know what we're talking about, right? That I'm talking about like the piece that's hanging out here, or maybe you have some wispies up here that you just can't tame. This is how I do it. So I just take this little guy and then I just do these pieces. They'll lay nice and flat. Sometimes underneath hair is a little bit more coarse or it's a little bit frizzier. Do the same thing with this baby little mini um, flat iron. All right, so this is the product that I've been using that is the shampoo. It's an oil shampoo. This is from Kirastas. This is called the ultimate, uh, this is called the Elixir Ultim. I picked it out because it said it was an oil cleanser and for all hair types. So I wasn't specifically going for gray hair, which made me happy because I don't, I haven't been happy with gray hair products. So I'm using this product. I use a little bit of it. I put it in my hair. I lather it and then I rinse it out. My hair has never been or hasn't ever felt cleaner since been going gray, more moisturized. I feel like I get so much hydration with this product. I was thrilled. And this was kind of like on a whim. I was at the Red Door Spa and I thought, I saw it and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try it because I've used other Kirstas products and I was using their, like their basic moisture, their basic moisture shampoo and conditioner. I just didn't really love how it smelled and I didn't feel like it was really cleansing my hair. So I moved on to this collection. So then I got the mask that I use also. I only put it from like half of my hair to the ends and then I leave it on for about five, seven minutes and I'll shave my legs and do other things. I don't put this mask from the roots down. It's going to be too heavy, especially I have thick hair. So I could get away with it possibly, but I just find that putting any kind of hydration of a mask or anything that's like a heavier shampoo, uh, conditioner from the roots, you just don't do it. It's gonna weight it down too much. It's gonna be too heavy. I really wanna concentrate on the ends of my hair and really smoothing out that part. I found that 
I just love the way that this product smells. It makes me happy in the shower. It makes me happy when my hair smells like this three to four days later. That was another issue I was having with a lot of these products. My hair smelled terrible on day two. And I was like, okay, now we're into the dry shampoo again. I'm adding more product in my hair. I'm just kind of like on this weird cycle. So my hair smells incredible on day three, four. I don't want to wash my hair every other day. It's just too much for my hair. And that's for me personally. So this is so nice that I'm still getting that benefit of this product and feeling like my hair is clean and smells nice and not having to put more product in it. So now after I wash my hair, when it's still damp, I towel dry it, I will use the Elixir Ultime. This is the, um, basically it's an Elixir. They have an oil also, it's like a leave-in oil. I didn't wanna try that right now because I felt like it'd be too heavy, especially going into summer for my hair. So I spray this on my hair, and the reason I found this was because I was at the salon and it was sprayed on the client next to me, and I was like, what is that smell? Like, what does that smell right now? And my stylist was like, oh, that, that's this product. Oh, and I was like, I don't even care what it does, I want it, because I want that smell when I get out of the shower, I want, I want that smell in my hair. I do find that this really tames my hair, it moisturizes my hair, and it just kind of gives it that extra prep in between going into blow drying it. So then I use the blow dry cream right here. I don't even know how to say this, I'm not even gonna try, but you can see up close and personal what this product is called. I link everything below to make it very, very simple for you ladies to find all the products that I talk about in this video. You don't have to go anywhere but the description box below. And I, again, this smells incredible. I've been using this product for two years. I think that they changed the packaging because this is not mine. Beef other one was a, it was a different packaging, but this is a really long wear controlled cream that does not weigh down my hair. This preps my hair when I go to blow dry it and I find it that it looks really beautiful and polished after I finish blow drying my hair. Now, the last thing is not from Kirastas. It's like my little secret sauce that I use. It's the Virtue. This is a correct. This is a split ends. It's the perfect ending split end serum. This is a really great product that I use on the ends because I don't want an oil, I don't want a silicone, I don't want anything like that. I don't want that slip and slide because it weighs down my hair and then it starts looking greasy. This product is a cream. So it says that it's a serum, so you would think that it would be like, you know, like an oil serum, it's not. It is a cream, which I will show you, like this. That's what it looks like. It's just such a nice light product. It helps restructure the hair and the, sp the, the split ends and anything like that. I use it on the bottoms of my hair underneath here and it's just nice and controlled but not weighted down. So basically that's what I've been using for a little bit, about a month, a little bit over a month. Um, I have never been happier. I feel like this is a really good collection for my hair. Again, this is my hair. I know everybody gets so crazy about going gray and, and they're all the frizzy and they're, everybody's like trying to like figure out the perfect combination and that's what you have to do. You have to test product. You have to, the other thing I wanted to mention is I, I still, from the collection I did, the gray hair product video I did, and I showed you all different types of products, mostly Fido product. I still use the Fido purple shampoo twice a month maybe three times, depending on what my hair looks like. But I do still love, for a purple shampoo, that is the only one that I like because it's so rich. It looks like a blueberry syrup. I find that my hair gets really nice and bright. Um, I like the botanical aspect of that company. So this is really what you have to do, is you have to figure out what your hair really works well with. And yes, it might cost you a little bit of money when you're buying different products and, and it's just like anything else, ladies. You know, you're not gonna find the perfect combination right away. I've been, it'll be three years in October that I decided to stop dyeing my hair. And I've been through a ton of product because I had to figure out like what was really gonna work for me. Now some things worked and then they started not to work or I felt like they were drying out my hair or there's just different combinations for everybody because everybody doesn't have the same type of hair I do or the same thickness or the same texture. So this is, I wanted to share this with you because I thought it was important. You might have you know glossed over this collection. Um, I, I think it's worth trying. I do, it is a higher price point. I think that um, the shampoo was $33. 
Again, I've had this for a month, so you can see I don't use that much. So if you're overusing your product, that's something that you need to you know check in about and see how much you're really using for your hair. But um, I have very thick hair, and you can see this is all I've used so far, and it's been a month. Um, the mask, let me see if the pricing is still on it. No, I think it was something around that pricing too in the 30s. I don't remember that usually, oh, this is 34, the blow dry cream, 34. So it lasts me a very long time. I feel like it's worth it. I want to invest in my beauty and I want to invest in quality products because I always have found I spend just as much or more on cheaper products that don't work and don't make me happy and don't give me a really great payoff, whether it's for my skin, my makeup, or my hair. So I've decided that this is, you know, I'm not dying my hair anymore. This is my investment. I want to really keep my hair just beautiful and hydrated. And that's a challenge, especially when it's going gray. But, you know, this is this is what we work with. So that is the, the product that I'm using right now. I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you on my next video.